Families of the victims of the Marshall Town fire are welcoming the arrest of the alleged arsonist. A 29-year-old confessed to the Kampempe Commission of Inquiry into this particular fire. And he said that he torched the building to dispose of a body of someone else that he had strangled to death. He now faces charges of arson, 76 counts of murder and 120 counts of attempted murder. Spokesperson for the Marshall Town Fire Justice Campaign that's Trevor Shaku says they also want the drug lord who issued orders arrested. Now we want the police and the law enforcement agencies in the city and of course in SAPS to ensure that a person who told this individual to go and kill and murder that individual who eventually as a result went on to start fire to try to cover up is also hunted and arrested so that we, on the, especially in as far as the question of the law, incarceration is concerned, we have this person who is behind the murder, incarcerated, alongside the person who committed the murder, the person who commissioned the other one to commit the murder, that the other one also is uh, incarcerated. So on the part of that, we think we welcome the conversion and we are pressing on the police to ensure that we see justice insofar as incarceration of the people who started the fire and who committed the murder is concerned. But we have heard from the confession on Monday, one witness said that the place had been a den for drug lords and for criminal syndicates. So we are not surprised that it is a criminal person who is a drug lord who would have commissioned this individual to go and commit this particular murder, which of course unfortunately had led to further tragic deaths of others when the cover-up uh, was concocted through fire and all of that. So we are not aware of these individuals. We have not seen them. We are hoping to also discover who are they in this court today.